thank you everybody and thank you for the invitation. I'll uh, talk a few minutes about EcoClimb. We are uh, at present actually a 10 year old company. We are uh, involved entirely in cost efficient energy recycling and we call ourselves from start to scale up. And what we're looking at is recapturing and saving energies in, in, in buildings on, on several, well, actually in almost different levels. But I will focus on circular energy and what we are doing there and our core product, which is recovery of energy from wastewater, uh, which is also a, a part of clean tech. Uh, uh, and what I would like to, to try to, to show you is, um, is how you save energy or save or recapture energy in a, in a, in a, in a building, in a multi-housing, multi-family building. And what this pie chart is, is trying to, to, to show you is that a lot of uh, effort uh, can be done by changing windows, new windows. You can have uh, roof ins insulation. You can have ventilation heat recovery. It's called FTX systems uh, or Luft, uh, von Luftswärme in Swedish. And then you can finally have extraction of heat or recovery of heat from wastewater. And this is something new. This hasn't been done in, in any in industrial scale yet, until we arrived. And the interesting is, if you uh, compare it to, to the last slide, and that is that for uh, to recover heat or energy from, from, uh, from, uh, from warm water, huh? this goes exactly as well in new buildings as in old buildings. Huh? The only difference is that in new buildings, it's actually a much larger part of the total energy consumption than it is in an old building. Because in an old building, you don't have the same installation, you maybe don't have any FTX systems, your windows are old, etc., etc. But in a new building, you have taken care of all those things, except one, and that is recovery of, of, uh, of uh, warm water. And this, this uh, diagram is supposed to show you, depending on where, at, at what time the buildings were built and created, and on how much energy there is still to save. And uh, if we look here at 1961 to 1975, that was when we had the so-called Million uh, Programmet in Swedish, where there was built one million new, new, new flats in Sweden. Huh? And, uh, for example, in those buildings, huh, there are lots to save from both from new windows, roof installations, uh, ventilation of heat and so on, uh, heat recovery, and of course wastewater heat recovery. The interesting thing is though, that when you come to 2006 uh, until present, you see that uh, most of these things are taken care of in a new built uh, multi-family housing, except, except recovery of, uh, of heat from, from uh, wastewater. That's the only thing that, the main only thing that's, that is uh, uh, left to save in a building. And, but the thing is, it's very tricky to, to extract the energy from, from wastewater. Huh? Because A, you have uh, what we call variable flows, i.e. you take a shower in the morning, uh, the dishwasher, uh, uh, washing machine and so on, you sleep at night. Huh? In order to recover um, heat from, from, uh, from water, you need, you need the water to be stable. You can't have it flowing a few hours per day and then not flowing at all. So you have to take care of that problem. The other thing you have to take care of that uh, uh, sewage water from a, from, from a house, huh? it can contain just about everything. I mean, from, uh, from, uh, from detergents to, uh, well, I'm not going to dwell into it, but you know. And for that, you need a very... Uh, very special materials that can handle all those 
all that pollution, dirt, filth, and so on. And the third thing you need is that once you recover, you man eventually manage to recover the heat from the wastewater, you need to put it back in use. And that's why uh, the market is not, uh, uh, is not overwhelmed with the with, uh, recovery of, of heat from, from wastewater. Because as far as we see, we are the first ones who, who, can, who can do this on a, on, a, on a bigger scale. And the beginning of this, this is our patented uh, heat exchanger. Huh? It uh, doesn't look very much. Yeah, well, but uh, I can assure you, it took some 17,000 tests before it, it actually worked. It's of a polymeric special material. This material must hand not only uh, uh, stand for all the filth and dirt that you have in the heat water, it must also resist that the, that the dirt sticks to it. So it, it's really designed for harsh condition. And then it's very, very efficient. So this is patented for, uh, for, uh, for, for the next uh, several years. And what we do is that we take these heat exchangers and we put them in this energy collector. Huh? And then we uh, put it all down into a huge tank full of wastewater. And then the magic begins. It looks like this. Uh, I'm trying to, to, to make sense. Uh, I don't know if I succeed, but I'll, I'll do my very best. First, you have uh, number one, you have the pump pit. Huh? So the wastewater comes from the flat, goes into the pump, pump pit. There we pump the wastewater up to a buffer tank because sometimes you take a shower, sometimes you don't. So you need a buffer tank. Then from that buffer tank, you uh, put the water into the, what you call the collector tank. And here is where we extract the heat. So uh, on average, sewage wastewater from a house uh, has a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. That's average. Uh? What we do is to, we, we, uh, we decrease the temperature here from 25 degrees to 7 degrees via the heat exchanger. And then the seven degree wastewater, it goes out here and then down to the sewage plant somewhere. And the, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the heated water, it goes in here in, in a, I would say, almost a traditional heat pump. And that's where, you, so to speak, you get a turbo effect. Where you put already warm water into a... a uh, a, a heat pump, and there you expand it by the factor of three, four, or five. And then from there, we, you pump the water to the heating, uh, to, 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 to the heat, warm water tank, sorry. Huh? And then it's getting reused again. So this is almost, not entirely, but it's almost a, a circular system. And if you ask, uh, well, how much of the energy in the wastewater do you actually, uh, are you able to, to capture? Huh? The answer is 90%. Sorry? It's 90%. So what we, uh, and if you begin to talk about mathematics, so what does this 90% mean uh, in, in a... Um, in, in a multifamily housing. Well, it, uh, it translates to, to those of you uh, who, who know a little bit about uh, buildings. That is a, a saving of equivalent 25 kilowatt hours per square meter and year. And for example, if you live in a newly built uh, uh, house, uh, uh, multifamily house here, here in uh, Stockholm area, for example, uh, the, those 25 kilowatt hour per square meter per year is about half of your bill for the district heating, or fjärvärme as it's called in, in Swedish. So it's, uh, it's a large amount of saving, and that's where the money is. So for us, uh, 
we are have been uh, we were established in 2013. Our, our, our founder, uh, and uh, we have slowly but safely been uh, building the company since then. And uh, had last year a turnover of close to 250 million, and we expect to grow a little bit more or significantly more this year. Huh? Our, our adjusted results as uh, uh, measured by BITA. Uh, 2022 was a kind of a disappointing year. It was uh, several factors, but uh, there were several costs and investments of more, well, non-occurring uh, nature, which we don't see coming here in 2023. And we still see a, a, pretty, a pretty fast growth organically. So when I... Um, uh, when we look at 2023, we, uh, we use the word of mastered optimism. I don't know if it's the uh, prudent... Uh, uh, in, in Swedish, I would say, beherskad optimism. Huh? But mastered optimism, because as you, can, as you can read here, we see 2023 really as a, it's a challenging year, no doubt about it. Huh? And uh, especially in, in, uh, in uh, construction and new housing, it's been falling quite rapidly since, uh, well, last summer. Uh, also, uh, the rising interest level have uh, left uh, no one uh, unnoticed, uh, especially not the, the, the last few, few days. And those, of course, increase investment costs. But what we see in the, on the other hand is that, well, we have significantly higher energy prices and, uh, and uh, uh, what we thought for just a couple of years ago. Huh? So, and when we, when we uh, measure these, both uh, positives and negative, uh, it comes out uh, well, recently okay. And so far this year, uh, we discussed this uh, as late as uh, the other day, uh, we were looking at, well, how do, how, what's our outlook for this year? Uh, things... Uh, do look kind of gloomy if you read uh, Dog in this Industry or Financial Times or whatever. Huh? But uh, uh, from our point of view, so, the, so far so good this year. And we are very convinced that our, our, uh, our growth in turnover huh? will, be, uh, will be in the uh, highly, in, in high double digit figures this year as most of our. our uh, are our business parts, they are growing. They are growing. Yeah? And that's, of course, because, because we do see this increased uh, interest and need from clients so, who, not, who not only want to make money on, on saving energy, but they also want to, to, to really uh, reduce their CO2 emissions. So uh, this we see will we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll make our, our, uh, our road ahead uh, uh, with, uh, with, high, uh, with, with continued high turnover. Huh? And we are just uh, in, the, in the step of establishing uh, sales in, uh, in Germany, huh? which is a country that is uh, kind of similar to Sweden, huh? uh, albeit it's much larger. Huh? But uh, with their... Uh, energy situation, their heating pro problems with natural gas and so on, no? we see that, well, there's a new market for us. And we are hoping and expecting to have a, uh, a, first, uh, a first orders and, and uh, event deliveries before the year end. Uh, so uh, with this, I say thank you very much for your attention. Well, thank you very much, Per. Uh, this is obviously a huge market, uh, but what competitors do you have in this field? Actually, the, we have no direct competitors when it comes to extracting heat from, from, from sewage, because uh, there are no other systems. Huh? So the actual uh, competition would be from other either energy recovering or heat recovering uh, like FTX, uh, air uh, recovering from, from, uh, from air, huh? or sunshine panels or something like that. But to extract heat from wastewater, huh? no. So far, no one. That's, that's good news for you, hmm? of course, for the investors too. So when you look at um, 
at um, retrofitting, because we do have lots and lots of buildings that need to be renovated, not to mention the ones that you mentioned before, the, the ones that were constructed in the 60s and the 70s in Sweden. We have them all over Europe, uh, and they need to be retrofitted. How, how, how costly or efficient, I mean, is that a, is that a big market here for you, retrofitting versus, versus the market of new, new construction? Building because th these tanks looked, they're not they're yeah. not tiny. No, no, they, they are not that tiny. So they are, uh, yeah. Uh, man, I would say that if, of course, it's easier in in new production course, huh? yes. because then you design for it and it's a little bit cheaper. But it it works quite well in in uh, in older buildings as well. Huh? Not in all buildings, huh? but uh, in uh, surprisingly many. Absolutely. So you either store this in, in your basement, huh? mm -hmm. and you need a, a, a room of uh, so, so say 35 square meters with uh, uh, two and a half meters height. That's, that's more or less all. Huh? Because the beautiful thing is that almost all sewage in a house, huh? it comes from all kinds of uh, appliances, all kinds of flats, but it ends up in one pipe. And you get you got to find that pipe, and there you, you, uh, you, uh, you, you access the, the wastewater from there. Well, it's a fascinating technique and uh, will be exciting to follow the progress. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.